Hello folks, Jason Christman, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. Right off the bat, I want to apologize. I've missed a couple weeks here in uh, releasing videos, and I tell you, I feel awful about that. But I had some uh, family car issues, and that became my, my main concentration. Um, but the vehicle's back up and running now, and everything is good, so here we are, making a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about Galena Farms and their Hoover Hive Kit. This is a pretty amazing kit, folks. The craftsmanship is unreal, and what I really like about this kit is that it's fully dipped and beeswax. So all the woodware should last many, many years out in the elements. Um, one of the other neat things about this particular kit that I'm going to show you today is that this 10-frame kit is set up for people that are buying 5-frame nukes. You're going to get your five frames in your nuke, and then this kit only has five frames in it. So when you put the two together, you get all ten frames. Now I realize this isn't going to be attractive to everybody. Um, that's why Galena Farms has several different Hoover Hive kits, and I suggest you check them out if this package isn't for you. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to share a referral link. Um, so make sure you check this out and uh, see what you think of the Hoover Hive Kit and at the end I'll give you that coupon code so check this out okay so to begin with before I even break open the box and show you what's in the box let me explain to you that this box is a hundred percent coated in beeswax and what that does for one thing is it keeps any harmful chemicals away from your bees you've got hive that's coated and a product that the bees themselves make um, another good thing about this is it's been my experience, and not just with bees, but with life in general. When you paint something, you're going to have to come back every few years and do a touch-up coat because paint just don't last very long. Um, I, in the last couple years, I've experimented with uh, mineral oil and putting several coats on raw wood. And it looks beautiful, just like this box that you see here. The problem is, after about a year of the sun beating on them, they start to turn gray. And then they're not so pretty anymore. I really love seeing these dipped hives and it does a lot for keeping the elements from penetrating the wood. For one, water can't get through wax, therefore you're pretty safe with snow. Um, the sun I don't see affecting it, but and it adds a gorgeous look. I mean look at that, honey colored hive. Okay so let's dive right in. The first thing you're going to notice is this beautiful galvanized sheeting on this outer lid. It's so shiny it almost looks like chrome. <laughs> but anyway, around the edge of the box, this has all been coated. The inside of the box has been completely coated with beeswax. It's 100% safe for the uh, elements outside. What we got here is our queen excluder. And this is going to go above your brood boxes, and then you'll have your supers over top of that. And this keeps the queen from moving up into the supers where your honey will be and laying lots of eggs. So this is very handy to have. Um, I've used these plastic ones before. They work great. Nice excluders right here. Uh, on the inner cover. This here is a bee escape. What this is, is you pop this into the slot in the center of your inner cover, like so. And now the bees can go down through here and come out right here. What they can't do is go the opposite direction from here and come out here. So this works great when you're going to remove um, honey from your honey supers. You lift your honey supers up, slide this over your brood box, put your supers back on. Um, overnight, the bees are going to work their way back into the brood box, and the next day they're not going to be able to get back up in. So that's what this is for. That's a bee escape, and you don't necessarily have to leave that on all year. Um, I would say when you're just using it with the brood box, I think I would remove this. Very nice inner cover though. Nice and solid. Um, it's made very, very well. I'm very impressed with the quality of this kit. One thing that makes this kit unique 
is the fact that it comes with five frames. And here's why it does. This kit, this whole kit that you see here on the table, comes with everything somebody needs that's starting out beekeeping and they're also buying a five frame nuke. What this allows them to do is they'll take their five frame nuke and what I would prefer they do is put their nuke in the middle here, maybe put a new foundation frame in the middle and then stagger their five frames here. And now they've got a full box. Now, if you're a person that's not getting a five frame nuke and you would rather have all 10 frames, Galena Farms, where I got this from, has that option too. Um, we've got plastic frames with plastic foundation and let me tell you this wax coating is thick, which is good. The wax coating on your foundation is going to determine how well your bees accept it. And I can feel it's all the way down around the edges. They didn't skimp on any place on these frames. Matter of fact, it feels like the whole frame's been dipped. See there? Scratching the wax off. So that's what they've done. They've just dipped the whole frames. But they're very well made. And I've had a lot of people ask me over the years, do you prefer plastic frames and foundation or the wood frames with the wax foundation or the wood frames with the plastic foundation? There's so many combinations. And I'll tell you the truth, I like the black plastic foundation the best. Um, the reason I like it over any other color is because you're able to see the eggs um, as the queen lays on the black. Uh, if you get the white plastic foundation, you're never going to see them eggs unless the sun's hitting them just right. There's also a yellow foundation now, and it's just as bad as the white as far as finding the eggs. But as far as strength, durability, um, these plastic frames are great, folks. And uh, what I like about them is after a few years um, of the bees using them, you can scrape all the comb off, recoat this with wax, and you're ready to go again. So let's set these to the side. Get down here to our box, which we can see has finger joints all the way around it. And they've stapled it. I imagine it's been glued just from the, the stiffness and the strength I can feel in the box. It's made really, really well, as you can see. Down here on the bottom, we've got our entrance reducer. We've got a couple different options. Um, just a little side note, and I don't point this out very often, but if you're using your entrance reducer, you've got two options. You can put this opening down, or you can put this opening facing up towards the hive body. It's my recommendation that you put it up. And here's why. In the winter, bees die naturally. The older bees are gonna fall from the cluster of bees that are trying to keep warm, and they're gonna land on the bottom board down here. Well, on the inside. And after a period of time, if you have this facing down, those dead bees are gonna block this entrance off. Whereas where, if you have it facing up, that allows for a layer of dead bees down here and still leaves the uh, entrance open. So just a little note there for you. And you've got two different sizes. You've got this big opening or you've got the little one. Down here we have a really nice solid bottom board. Completely coated with beeswax just like all the other woodware. Now they did kind of gunk it on right there in that area, but that's all right. It's gonna protect it from the elements better. So anyway, folks, it's a really solid box. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind having all of my boxes switched out to these just because I like the look. I like the fact that uh, um, they're gonna hold up in the weather. I definitely prefer finger joints on my boxes than rabbit joints. And uh, I just think they add more strength. And it, I really do like the logo on the front too. It looks nice. So we'll put this back together. 
and you know that's one thing I should mention I'm putting this back together when you get this kit it comes already assembled I didn't have to do anything let me show you some pictures here how this came in the box and uh, I'm gonna put them in order and I'm gonna flip through them here one by one and you can see hives already put together all I had to do is take it out of the box set it up where I wanted it and install my nuke so let's slide this back now okay so what we have here is our hive tool I tell you this is super super thick durable I really like the strength I can feel in it it's got a nice sharp edge on both ends and you've got a nail puller very basic hive tool does everything you need for the most part um, very nice the gloves now I'll tell you I had these on the other day just seeing how they felt and they felt pretty good I only have one problem and I have it with a lot of gloves I buy it ain't just with these I have large hands so my fingers come back further than what this seam is right here my knuckles are clear back here so that's my only complaint about the gloves, but other than that, I can move my fingers just fine. Um, I could work the bees in these probably all right and not have any problems. Now, the long sleeve is made so you can pull this up and then slide your bee jacket on over top of it. Just double protection. So, very nice gloves. Um, these are 100% leather, and these are the extra, extra large. Um, the smoker. We'll get to the protective jacket here last. The smoker comes as you see it closed up. What you do is you squeeze it tight and then there's a little clip on here. You're just going to lift that up and take it off. And you no longer need that unless you would rather keep it for uh, to save room, I guess, to store your bellow or your smoker. Very nice smoker. 100% leather. Um, the bellow made very, very well. Um, we got our lid, got a hinge up front, down inside of here, we have this little piece of stainless steel. Now these fingers were laying flat when I got it, and all you have to do is bend them up. Pretty much make a little table like you would see in the center of your pizza when you buy one. Keep it from getting squished by the lid. And you're going to take this and you're going to set it down in the bottom of your smoker. And sometimes you have to lay it on its side because it never never falls the way you want it. And that that's going to allow a little room at the bottom for your air from your bellow to get in and come up through your uh, smoker fuel. The smoker actually has a hanger on the side too, so when you're working your bees, you can hang it right on the hive really nice smoker stainless steel very nice okay so I had this on yesterday and I'll tell you what I noticed immediately was in this veil there has to be there's at least two layers of material maybe even a third between the two inside and out I can't tell but there is definitely some uh, thickness there and that's good that's going to protect you from uh, getting stung on the head the veil itself is rather deep which is good that keeps it out away from your face we've got vinyl screening covering the whole thing there is no metal screening so there is no rust this is removable from the jacket as you see via these zippers and then this velcro flap goes down over your main zipper on your jacket after you zip it as double protection. The jacket itself, now let me tell you, there is no ventilation. It's solid bee jacket. You've got Velcro around your wrist. It's got a thumb loop to put your thumb through. And what that does is keeps your sleeve from riding up whenever you reach. This one's got this Velcro strap too, and the Velcro around the wrist, and Velcro around the bottom. It's got the plastic or nylon zippers, which I didn't have a problem with, seeing the zip right up. 
Now this is an extra extra large and I'm not a real big guy. So I'm 6'2", but I don't got a whole lot of girth to me. So I guess if you got some girth, <laughs> you might want to think about adding a few more X's to that. But I'm going to overlap a picture here showing how it fit me and uh, kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on somebody. I'll tell you folks, for the money, you can't go wrong here. And this box is going to last you many, many years. The only thing that I can see that you might have a problem with, and it ain't no big problem, is this just doesn't feel real thick to me. I would think if I had aggressive bees, I would want something a little thicker than this. For one colony, you're probably going to be all right. For two colonies, you're probably going to be all right. And if not, hey, throw a flannel on underneath of it, and then you'd be all right. But at the same time, it's going to be summer, it's going to be getting hot, and you're probably not going to want to wear a flannel underneath a solid bee jacket. Um, but as you see that you're liking beekeeping more and more, maybe that's one thing you save up and invest in down the road, is a ventilated um, bee jacket. Something with a little bit more girth to it to protect you from getting stung. That's it right there. Um, if you're interested in a kit like this or to see what other options they have, go down in the video description and you'll see a link down there. Um, take you right over to their page and uh, you can see what all they got. I tell you, I'm really impressed with this Hoover kit. And uh, I think I'm even going to link this to my own nukes that I'll be selling for my nuke customers to see. Just because this would be a great option for them. They buy a nuke from me. They buy this. It's got five frames with it. Boom. They're off and running. So what did you think? Were you impressed? Do you like the kit? How do you feel about dipped woodware? Um, if you have any experience with dipped woodware, leave it down below. That might help the people that are starting out this year make their final decision. Um, if you've used the Hoover Hive kit, leave that down below in your opinion and what, how, it, how it's worked for you. I'd also like to uh, invite you down below the video. You can purchase this JC's Bees. They call it a beanie. I call it a toboggan. Do with it what you want. But it does keep your head and your ears very warm this time of year. And it also tells everybody that you just love JC's Bees. So that's down below the video on the merch shelf. Um, down in the video description, you'll find the link to go over to Galena Farms and check out this kit. And um, right below the video, you're going to find a thumbs up and a thumbs down. I invite you to give me a thumbs up, help boost this video in the YouTube search ranks, and make it easier for other beekeepers to find. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute and do so, and make sure you click on that little bell so you can stay notified when I release new videos. Um, I'm going to try to get back in the routine here. We're going to do a uh, rate by winter setup here in the next couple weeks. So, if you're not aware of rate my winter setup, you can go over to my Patreon page and read all about it and learn how you can submit a picture of your winter hive setup to me and uh, I'll release a video discussing your hive setup and so forth and so on. But all that information on the rate my winter setup can be found over on my Patreon page which is linked down below and up here in the corner. So you can take your option on how you get there. This way is probably a little less scenic. That way is a little bit more scenic. So you just, you got options. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next week.